Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the tangent assembly constraint. Now again, that's not to be confused with the sketch geometry constraint, the tangent constraint there. Uh, the big differences are that one of them is working with an actual solid body, right? So we have two components here, one of them being the cylinder, which is fixed. The other one is the roller, which is still free to move. Now, again, guys, once you're working with the assembly here, you can now have this relationship tab. Right above it, you're gonna see that we have the constraint, right? We have a couple different constraints here. Let's go ahead and select the tangent constraint. A couple options, right? So you can either constrain these two cylinders via the outside surfaces or via the inside surfaces, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the differences here. If we select the outside surface and we click on this face and this face, right? Notice that they're constraining to the outside of it, right? If I switch that to the inside, it switches to the inside, right? We also have the offset dialog box, which allows you to input some sort of offset if you want. Change that to 0.5, goes to the outside there. Right, in this case, I'm going to leave it at zero. We can go ahead and hit OK. And now notice that the cylinder is tangent to the roller. Right. We can add one more constraint, make it flush, hit OK. And now our roller is fully constrained. So that's been how to use the tangent constraint in the assemblies environment. Hope it helps.